ادع الى سبيل ربك بالحكمه والموعظه الحسنه وجادله بالتي هي احسن ان ربك هو اعلم بمن ضل عن سبيله بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن تبع الهدى السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته brothers and sisters in islam may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his mercy and blessings upon all of you and may he increase us in beneficial knowledge of the quran and of the authentic sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam in which contains some of the most important type of knowledge which the muslim should strive and work hard to learn and this is knowledge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and specifically knowledge of allah's beautiful names and beautiful attributes previously we talked about some principles in how to understand allah's beautiful names and beautiful attributes and the benefits of knowing Allah's beautiful names and beautiful attributes and also the number how many names does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have and what is the most beloved name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we enumerated or we counted about 30 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the Quranic verses and we will continue on from there and the last three names that we mentioned was ar-razzaq al-qawi and al-mateen So moving on brothers and sisters and before we start and move on into our lesson I would recommend that the students have in front of them a Quran okay preferably English and Arabic for those who don't know Arabic okay you should have an English and Arabic translation in front of you and the one that I recommend is the Noble Quran which was printed by the King Fahad printing complex in Medina Munawwara in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So we want when I mentioned the references for these names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran and we're going to mention also some references from the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam I would like you guys to refer back to them so you yourself can look and observe where these names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are being taken from. So open up to chapter 12 of the Quran verse number 64. Surah Yusuf chapter 12 verse number 64. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions and also in Surah Hud, okay, chapter 11 verse 57. In these two verses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about three of his names. Okay, the first one is in Surah Yusuf where Allah says فالله خير حافظا وهو ارحم الراحمين فالله خير حافظا وهو ارحم الراحمين it's the first one so allah is khair hafizan allah is the best of protectors the best of guardians and in surah hud verse number 57 allah says ان ربي على كل شيء حفيظ so in the first verse we have khair hafizan and this one hafiz so allah is al hafiz and al hafiz allah is al hafiz the one who protects the one who is the guardian also hafiz al hafiz the one who continuously guards and protects his servants and in the first verse it had khair hafizan khair hafizan the best of guardians and the best of protectors so open up to chapter 13 verse number 9 surah al ra'd verse number 9 Allah he says Alimul ghaybi wa shahadati al-kabir al-muta'al Here in this verse we have mentioned three of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names Alimul ghaybi okay the knower of the unseen Alimul ghaybi the knower of the unseen wa shahadati and the seen so Allah knows everything from amongst the unseen affairs as well as everything which is witnessed and seen and allah is also al kabir al kabir al muta'al allah is the kabir the most great the biggest the greatest and also al muta'al al muta'al means the most exalted the most high 
Also go back to Surah Al-Fatiha, the first chapter in the Quran, verse number 4. Verse number 4 and Surah Al-Qamar, chapter 54, verse number 55. Here we have two similar names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first one is in Surah Al-Fatiha where Allah says, Maliki Yawmiddin. Maliki Yawmiddin. The owner, the only owner of the day of recompense, the only owner of the day of judgment. And in Surah Al-Qamar, verse number 55, Allah he says, فِي مَقْعَدِ صِدَقٍ عِنْدَ مَلِيكٍ مُقْتَدِرٍ So in the first verse we have Al-Malik. Allah, He is Al-Malik. Allah is the owner. The owner, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the owner of everything. He is the one who owns everything in the creation permanently. While our ownership is only temporarily. And Allah is also Al-Malik. Al-Malik, meaning the master and the owner, and the omnipotent king. And Muqtadir, Al-Muqtadir, also the omnipotent king and the one who is able to do all things. Moving on, if you open up to Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Ikhlas, chapter 112, verses 1 and 2, we have mentioned also of three of Allah's beautiful names. The first is, as Allah says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Allahu Samad. Allah, one of Allah's beautiful names. Al Ahad, okay, Ahad, meaning the one. Allah, He is one. Al Samad, Al Samad means the one who is self sufficient, whom all of the creation need, whom all of the creatures need. And it's been narrated in a hadith on the authority of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, and it comes in Sahih Bukhari. That the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said, Allah, he said, I am Al-Ahad, I am the one, and Al-Samad, I am the self-sufficient master whom all creatures need. I beget not, nor was I begotten, and there is none like unto me. Similar to the, the, the Surah of Surah Al-Ikhlas. Also open up to Surah Al-Ghafir, chapter 40, verse number 20. We have mention of two of Allah's beautiful names. Allah says, In Allah who was Samir al Basir. In Allah who was Samir al Basir. That Allah he is the all hearer, the all seeing. Allah hears everything and Allah hears everything. As Samir, the all hearing, Al Basir, the all seeing. Go to chapter thirteen, Surah Al Ra'd, once again, verse number sixteen. Allah he mentions two of his beautiful names again. As Allah he says, وَهُوَ الْوَاحِدُ الْقَهَّارِ وَهُوَ الْوَاحِدُ الْقَهَّارِ And Allah He is Al-Wahid means the one and Al-Qahar the irresistible. So Allah is the one and Allah is irresistible as well. Also from Allah's beautiful names we have mentioned in Surah Ashura, Surah Ashura, verse number 28. Chapter 42, verse number 28, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Qur'an, وَهُوَ الَّذِي يُنَزِّلُ الْغَيْثَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا قَنَتُوا وَيَنْشُرُ رَحْمَتُوا وَهُوَ الْوَلِيُّ الْحَمِيدُ وَهُوَ الْوَلِيُّ الْحَمِيدُ الْوَلِيُّ and الْحَمِيد الْوَلِي is what? Allah is the supporter, the guardian, the protector, the aider, the helper, الْوَلِي and Al-Hamid, Al-Hamid, the one who is worthy of all praise. Al-Hamid, the one who should be constantly praised, the one who is worthy of all praise. Now, brothers and sisters, go to Surah Al-Hajj. Surah Al-Hajj, verse number 78, chapter 22, verse number 78. We have mention of two of Allah's beautiful names. As Allah says, فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرِ فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرِ Allah is Ni'ma al-Mawla, the best of protectors and guardians. Al-Mawla means a protector and a guardian. And al-Nasir, when Ni'ma al-Nasir, al-Nasir means a helper, an excellent helper and an excellent aider. In chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse number 117, we have mention of two more of Allah's beautiful names. Al-Raqib and Al-Shaheed. 
الرقيب and الشهيد الرقيب means the watcher the one who is constantly watching and supervising over us and الشهيد the one who witnesses all things in the creation as Allah says فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم وأنت على كل شيء شهيد that Allah is a raqib the one who is constantly watching over the creation and a shaheed the one who witnesses all things also in surah an-nur okay chapter 24 verse number 25 we have mentioned of two of Allah's beautiful names al-haqq al-mubin wa ya'lamuna anna Allah huwa al-haqq al-mubin al-haqq al-mubin al-haqq means the truth Allah is the truth and al-mubin the manifest so Al-Haqq al the manifest truth. Allah is the manifest truth. Now go to Surah Al-Mulk, brothers and sisters. Surah Al-Mulk, chapter 67, verse number 14. We have mention of two of Allah's beautiful names. Ala ya'lamu man khalaqa wa huwa al-latif al-khabir. Ala ya'lamu man khalaqa wa huwa al-latif al-khabir. Allah is Al-Latif. Al-Latif, the most kind and the most courteous and Allah is Al-Khabir Allah is Al-Khabir all aware of everything in existence now move back to Surah Al-Hud okay Surah Al-Hud Surah Hud okay chapter 11 verse 61 chapter 11 verse 61 we have mention of two of Allah's beautiful names as well inna rabbi qareebun mujib inna rabbi qareebun mujib that Allah is Al Qareeb. Allah is Al Qareeb, the one who is near, the one who is close, in a way that suits and befits His divine majesty and exaltedness. Allah is Al Qareeb, the near. And Al Mujib, Al Mujib, the one who is constantly responsive to His servants' supplications. Moving on, brothers and sisters, go to chapter 82 of the Qur'an, chapter 82, verse number 6, Surah Al-Infitar. Surah Al-Infitar, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Ya ayyuhal insanu ma gharraka bi rabbika al-kareem. Al-kareem, from Allah's names is Al-kareem, the most generous. And also in Surah Al-Alaq, the first Surah revealed to the Prophet Muhammad in the third verse, Allah says, Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram. Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram. Allah, He is al-akram. He is al-kareem and al-akram. Allah is al-kareem, meaning the, the generous one, and al-akram, the most generous one. The most generous one. Also in Ayatul Kursi, okay, chapter 2, the best verse in the Quran. Allah mentions two of his names as well. Chapter 2, verse 255. Allah he says, وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَلِيُّ means the most high. Nothing is higher than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the most high. And Al-Azim, Allah is the most great. The most great. And open up to Surah Ali Imran, third chapter, verse 173. And Surah An Nisa, chapter four, verse six. Okay. We have mention of two of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's beautiful names. In Surah Ali Imran, we have right. وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَا اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَا اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ Allah is نِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ. Okay, the best disposer of affairs, the best one to have control over our affairs. Okay, الْوَكِيلِ. Al-Wakil, the disposer of affairs. Okay, and Allah says in Surah An-Nisa, "Wa kafa billahi hasiba, wa kafa billahi hasiba, hasiba." Okay, from Allah's names is Al-Hasib, Al-Hasib, the one who is best in taking account, the one who is best in taking account. Moving on, Surah At-Taghabun, chapter sixty-four, verse seventeen. Okay, we have two. Allah's beautiful names. Wallahu shakurun halim. Wallahu shakurun halim. Shakurun means the most appreciative. The most appreciative. And al halim, al halim, the most forbearing. The most forbearing. 
In Surah At-Tur, chapter 52, verse number 28, we have mention of two of Allah's beautiful names, but one of them was previously mentioned. And one here, Allah, He says, إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْبَرُّ الرَّحِيمُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْبَرُّ الرَّحِيمُ That Allah, He is Al-Barr. Al-Barr means the most subtle, the most kind, the most courteous, and the most generous. In Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verses 147, Allah, He says, وَكَانَ اللَّهُ شَاكِرًا عَلِيمًا وَكَانَ اللَّهُ شَاكِرًا عَلِيمًا That Allah is a shakir a shakir the one who is ever all appreciative. The one who is ever all appreciative. In Surah As-Sad, okay, Sad, verse number 9, Allah, He mentions one of His beautiful names, Al-Wahhab. أَمْ عِنْدَهُمْ خَزَائِنُ رَحْمَةِ رَبِّكَ الْعَزِيزُ الْوَهَّابِ Aziz al Wahhab. From Allah's names is Al Wahhab, the bestower, the one who bestows upon his creation. In Surah An'am, 6th chapter, verse number 18, we have another one of Allah's magnificent names, Al Qahiru. As Allah says, Wahu al Qahiru fawqa ibadi, Wahu al Hakim al Khabir. Al Qahiru. Al-Qahiru means the irresistible one. Al, the irresistible one. Al-Qahiru, the irresistible one. The ones that the creation cannot resist. In Surah Al-Sad, also verse number 66, another one of Allah's beautiful names, as Allah he says, رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا الْعَزِيزُ الْغَفَّارِ الْعَزِيزُ الْغَفَّارِ Al Ghaffar means the one who is always forgiving his servants. Al Ghaffar, the one who constantly and always forgives his servants. In Surah Al Baqarah, verse number 37, chapter 2, verse 37, Allah he mentions that he is a Tawwab. A Tawwab, the one who accepts repentance. Fatalaqa Adamu mir Rabbihi kalimatim fataba alay. إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah, He is the Tawwab. He is a Tawwab, the one who accepts the repentance. So we call upon a Tawwab. يَا Tawwab تُوبْ عَلَيْنَا Oh Allah, You are a Tawwab. You are the one who accepts the repentance. Accept our repentances and forgive us. يَا رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Surah Al-Sabah, okay, chapter 34, verse 26. We have another mention of Allah's, one of Allah's beautiful names. Al-Fattah, as Allah he says, قُلْ يَجْمَعُ بَيْنَنَا رَبُّنَا ثُمَّ يَفْتَحُ بَيْنَنَا بِالْحَقِّ وَهُوَ الْفَتَّاحُ الْعَلِيمُ وَهُوَ الْفَتَّاحُ الْعَلِيمُ That Allah is Al-Fattah Al-Alim. Al-Fattah means the opener, the one who opens. The one who opens everything. The one who opens everything. So from Allah's names is Al-Fattah, Al-Fattah. In Surah An-Nur, open up chapter 24, verse number 20, Allah He says, Ra'ufur Rahim. Allah's name is Ar-Ra'uf. From Allah's names is Ar-Ra'uf. Ar-Ra'uf means the one full of kindness. The one full of kindness. Surah An-Nur also, okay, this time verse number 35. Allah is, from His names, is An-Nur. An-Nur. Allah says, Allahu Nuru Samawati Wal Ard. Allahu Nuru Samawati Wal Ard. Allah is An-Nur, meaning the light. Okay, Allah is the light. From His names is the light. In Surah An-Nisa, go back to Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 85. Allah he says, وَكَانَ Allahu عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُقِيتًا وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُقِيتًا مُقِيت Allah is Al-Muqeet Al-Muqeet meaning the one who is a witness and able to do everything the one who is a witness and able to do everything Al-Muqeet Al-Muqeet the one who observes everything and the one who is able to do everything Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 247 we have another mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعٌ عَلِيمٌ 
Wallahu wasi'un alim. So from Allah's names is al wasi'. Al wasi', the vast, the abounding, the far reaching, the extending, the one who is all sufficient for his creature's needs. Al wasi'u. Al wasi'u. Also from Allah's names, we find in Surah Al Hijr, Surah Al Hijr, verse number 23, chapter 15, verse number 23. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِنَّا لَنَحْنُ نُحْيِي وَنُمِيتُ وَنَحْنُ الْوَارِثُونَ وَنَحْنُ الْوَارِثُونَ We are the inheritors. So from Allah's names is الْوَارِث الْوَارِثُ The inheritor. Okay, الْوَارِثُ The inheritor. Open up to Surah Al-A'la, chapter 87, verse 1. We have from Allah's names, الْأَعْلَى الْأَعْلَى The Most High. Allah is the Most High. سَبِّحِ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ الْأَعْلَى سَبِّحِ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ الْأَعْلَى Glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High. We glorify you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are the Most High. So from Allah's names is Al-A'la. Al-A'la, the Most High. In Surah Al-Fussilat, chapter 41, verse 54, another mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names is أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ فِي مَرْيَةٍ فِي مِنْ لِقَاءِ رَبِّهِمْ أَلَا إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُحِيطٍ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُحِيطٍ مُحِيطٍ From Allah's names is Al-Muhiyyat Al-Muhiyyat The one who surrounds all things The one who encompasses everything in the creation Okay And also from Allah's names Similar to some of the names we mentioned before from Allah's names, Alim Al Alim, right? Alim Al Ghaybi. From here we have that Allah is Alam Al Ghayu, Alam Al Ghayu. That Allah, from His names, is Al Alam, Al Alam. Okay, Al Alam, the one who knows everything, and also Alam Al Ghayu, Alam Al Ghayu, that He knows constantly and extensively and consistently and he always knows the affairs of the unseen open up to surah al-anbiya chapter 21 verse 112 we have mentioned of another one of allah's magnificent names so allah he says in the quran qala rabbihkum bil haqqi wa rabbuna ar-rahman al-musta'anu ala ma tasifun al-musta'anu Al Musta'anu from Allah's names is Al Musta'an. Al Musta'an means the one whose help is sought, the one from which we should seek constant help and aid. Before we seek the aid and the help of anyone from amongst the creation, we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and aid us first and foremost. Al Musta'an, the one whose help and aid is to be sought. Surah Al-Hajj, chapter 22, verse 54. We have another mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names, one of his names. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَهَادِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِلَى الصَّرَاطِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Allah's names, from Allah's names, is Al-Hadi. Al-Hadi, the guide. Al-Hadi, he is the one who guides whom he wills. We ask Allah to guide us upon the straight path and keep us firm upon the straight path contained in the Qur'an. In the authentic Sunnah, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, upon the understanding and the consensus of the noble companions. And another of Allah's names is An-Nasir. An-Nasir. Allah mentions this in Surah Ali Imran, chapter three, verse one fifty. بَلِ اللَّهُ مَوْلَاكُمْ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ النَّاصِرِينَ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ النَّاصِرِينَ. Allah is the best of helpers. Anybody can help you, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it can help you first and foremost and help you in the best of ways. So Allah is An-Nasir, An-Nasir, the, the helper, right? The helper, the best of helpers. In Surah Al-Hijr, okay, chapter 15, verse 86, we also have another one of Allah's names. Allah says, Inna rabbaka huwa al-khallaqul alim. Inna rabbaka huwa al-khallaqul alim. Al-khallaqu, al-khallaqu means the, the one who constantly creates what he wills, whenever he wills, how he wills. Al-Khalaq, the one who creates. 
Surat An-Nisa, moving on, Surat An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 149. We have another one of Allah's names, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَفُوًّا قَدِيرًا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَفُوًّا قَدِيرًا for, So from Allah's names is Al-Afu. Al-Afu, the one who constantly pardons and is ever pardoning of his servants, mistakes and shortcomings. We ask Allah to pardon us constantly for all of our mistakes and all of our shortcomings. Also, from Allah's beautiful names is Al Hakam. Okay, Al Hakam and Al Hakim. Al Hakam and Al Hakim. Here, Al Hakim. Al Hakimin. If you open up to Yunus chapter 10, verse 109, Allah he says. واتبع ما يوحى إليك واصبر حتى يحكم الله وهو خير الحاكمين وهو خير الحاكمين and he is the best of judges so الحاكم means the best of uh, means the judge okay الحاكم means the judge but Allah he is خير الحاكمين the best of judges moving on سورة الأنعام has many mention of Allah سبحانه وتعالى's beautiful names and attributes and the verse we want to take right now, verse number 133 of Surah An'am. Surah An'am, the sixth chapter, verse number 133. Allah He says, Wa al ghani al ghani means the self-sufficient, the richest, the one who contains everything and possesses everything in the heavens and the earth. And he is the one which all creatures need. Al-Ghani. He is independent and self-sufficient within himself. And also from Allah's names, as we have mentioned in Surah Al-Nahl, chapter 16, verse 91, is Al-Kafil. Allah is Al-Kafil. Al-Kafil, as Allah says, وَقَدْ جَعَلْتُمُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ كَفِيلًا وَقَدْ جَعَلْتُمُ اللَّهُ وَقَدْ جَعَلْتُمُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْكُمْ كَفِيلًا وَقَدْ جَعَلْتُمُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْكُمْ كَفِيلًا So Al-Kafil, and this also comes in a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi on the authority of Ibn Huraira. He said that two men from Bani Israel, right, came to him and he said, right, Allah is Al-Kafil. Allah is Al-Kafil, the one who is sufficient as surety in the affairs of the people. And this hadith has been mentioned in the Musnad of Imam Ahmed with an authentic chain of narration. So from Allah's names is Al-Kafil, Al-Kafil, the most sufficient of shirt. And in another hadith narrated from Ya'la ibn Umayyah, he said that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said in a hadith which has been mentioned by Imam Ahmed and also Abu Dawood and it is considered to be authentic, he said that verily Allah the Exalted the sublime is al hayy al hayy and as sitir as sitir as sitir means the coverer the concealer and we find that it's very common amongst many people they say ya satir ya satir right as satir is not from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names but as sitir Right, the coverer, the concealer, okay, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful name. So if we could remind our brothers and sisters that as satir is not from Allah's names, but as sitir is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful name. So when we ask Allah to conceal something, then we call upon Allah, we say, Ya as sitir. Ya as sitir conceal and cover cover the affair or cover the things in which you are doing so moving on so now we should have mentioned about 90 of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names 90 we enumerated and counted about 90 of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names from the Quran and from the authentic sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and we're going to mention some more and we have mention of about four of Allah's beautiful names in a hadith which has been narrated by Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood, Imam Ahmed, and Ad-Dadimi and with an authentic chain of narration. 
on the authority of Anas ibn Malik that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa he said, Verily Allah is Al-Musa'ir. Al-Musa'ir means the determiner. And Al-Qabid. Al-Qabid meaning the one who withholds. And also Allah is Al-Basit, the grantor. So Allah is Al-Qabid and Al-Basit. Allah withholds and He also grants provisions. And Al-Raziq. Al-Raziq. Okay. Al-Raziq, the one who maintains and sustains and provides for the creation. So this hadith we have mentioned of four of Allah's beautiful names. Al-Musa'ir, the determiner. Al-Qabid, the one who withholds. Al-Basit, the one who grants. And Al-Raziq, the one who provides and maintains. In another hadith, which has been narrated by Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, radiallahu anhu, that, and it's been mentioned in the two Sahih, Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa when he used to make supplication, he used to call upon Allah, calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-muqaddim. Right? Allah, you are al-muqaddim and al-muakhir. You are al-muqaddim, meaning the first, and al-muakhir, the last. And you are qadir. You are qadir, omnipotent, and capable over all things. So in this hadith, we learn three of Allah's names. Al-muqaddim, the first, the foremost one the one who preceded everything, okay? and Al-Mu'akhir, the last, the one who remained after everything in the creation is gone, and Al-Qadir, the one who is omnipotent, omnipotent. Another name of Allah, which comes in one of the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, is in the hadith of Aisha, which has been narrated in Sahih Muslim, where Aisha, radiallahu anha, she said that the Messenger of Allah Wasallam, used to say while he was in ruku' while he was bowing, and in sujood sometimes, in prostration, Subuh Quddus Subuh Quddus As Subuh As Subuh is from Allah's beautiful names, which means the one who is all glorious. As Subuh, the one who is glorious and free from all deficiencies and shortcomings. In another hadith, which was mentioned in the in the Sahihain, Sahih Bukhari, and Muslim, on the authority of Aisha when a group of Jews came to the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ to visit him, and they said, As-Samu alaykum. They said, Death be upon you, Messenger of Allah. So Aisha became very upset and very annoyed. So she responded, she said, Well, may death and the curse of Allah be upon you. So the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ advised her, he says, O oh, Aisha, Allah is rafiq. Allah is kind and lenient. And likes that one should be kind and lenient in all of their affairs. So from Allah's names is Ar-Rafiq. Ar-Rafiq meaning the one who is the most kind and the most lenient. In another narration from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu we, that can be found in Sahih Muslim, we find that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, O oh people, Allah is tayyib. Inna Allah is tayyib wa la yaqbalu illa tayyib. Okay? Allah is tayyib, Allah is pure, Allah is good and wholesome, and therefore He only accepts that which is good, wholesome, and pure from His servants. So from Allah's names is a tayyib, a tayyib, the good one, the wholesome one, the pure one. In another hadith which has been mentioned in Sunan Abi Dawood and also Sunan al Nisa'i with a hasan, with a fair chain of narration, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, Verily Allah is al hakam al hakam the arbitrator and to him is the hukum. Allah is al hakam and to him is the hukum. Okay? Al hakam means the arbitrator, the one who determines the affairs for the people. And also in Sahih Muslim and Bukhari we have another mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names on the authority of Aisha radiallahu anha. She said that whenever a person became ill or sick, then Allah's messenger would say, O oh, Lord of the people, Grant him health, heal him, for you are a shafi. You are a shafi. A shafi means the healer. The healer. So Allah is the healer of all the sicknesses and all of the ailments. And Allah is the one who provides the cure for the people. The doctors, the hospitals, the medication, these are all causes and means which are legislated to take so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can provide the individual the healing and the cure. But the real healing and the real cure comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal and cure all of us, cure our hearts and clean our hearts and heal our hearts from nifaq and from kufr and from shirk and from disbelief and from all types of ills, Ya Rabbil Alameen. In another authentic narration on the authority of Muawiyah radiallahu anhu, he said that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah is Al-Mu'ti, Al-Mu'ti. Allah is Al-Mu'ti. What is Al-Mu'ti? This hadith is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, and the wording is found in uh, Sahih Bukhari. Allah is Al-Mu'ti. Al-Mu'ti means the giver, okay, the one who gives, the one who gives. And if you recall, brothers and sisters, in some of our previous lectures we talked about, when we mentioned that Allah has 99 names, 100 names except for one, that whoever memorizes them and preserves them shall enter into the paradise. So we ask Allah to enable us to memorize Allah's beautiful names, to act upon the meanings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names and implement them into our daily lives to help us to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do what Allah loves and is pleased with. But in that hadith, it mentions that Allah is witr. Allah is witr and He loves witr. Okay, this hadith was mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim. So al-witr means what? Al-witr means one, the single one. So Allah is the single one. Allah is al-witr and He loves witr. In another narration, we find in Surah Abi Dawood and the Muslim Abi Imam Ahmed with an authentic chain of narration that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said, Allah is al-tabib. Allah is At-Tabib, the healer or the physician. So we had, we just mentioned Allah is Ash-Shafi and At-Tabib. Ash-Shafi, the healer, and At-Tabib, the healer or the physician as well. So we ask Allah, we call upon Allah, At-Tabib, Ash-Shafi, to cure all of the Muslims. Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Ash-Shafi, Ya At-Tabib, Ishfina, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask Allah to cure us and heal us and heal all of our brothers and sisters in Islam who may be experiencing sickness or ailments. So if you want to be healed and cured by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then use His beautiful names to call upon Him. Use the name of tabib Use the name Ash-Shafi and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer your call and will give you healing and give you a cure. And another hadith from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as it comes in Sahih Muslim, he says that in Allah Jamil Yuhibbul Jamal that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is what? He is Jamil. Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty. He loves everything that is beautiful. So from Allah's names is Al Jamil. Al Jamil means what? The most beautiful, the most graceful. And in another hadith which comes in Sunan ibn Majah with, and the, the narration, inshallah, is Hassan Sahih, inshallah, with a fair, okay, a fair, good narration. We find that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu heard one of the companions saying, Oh Allah, oh Lord, I ask you because to you is all praise. There is none that has the right to be worshipped except you. You are alone and you have no partners. You are al manan You are al manan al manan means the one who is the most beneficent and one who constantly bestows upon his servants. In another hadith mentioned in Sunan Abi Dawood with an authentic chain of narration, we have on the authority of Abdullah ibn al-Shakhir that he said, we said, O Messenger of Allah, you are our Sayyid. You are our Sayyid. So when the Prophet Muhammad wasallam heard this, he says, no. He says, a Sayyid, a Sayyid meaning the Master or a Lord, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the blessed and the exalted. So Allah, He is a Sayyid. A Sayyid meaning the Lord and the Master. And the last name we're going to mention today, which will be the 109th name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mentioned from the Quran and mentioned from the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi is the hadith of Abdullah ibn Unais, which he says, I heard the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa say, that Allah will gather the slaves and He will summon them with a sound that is heard by those far and those near. And Allah will say, I am the king, I am a dayan. I am the king, I am a dayan. And a dayan means the judge, means the judge. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
to increase us in beneficial knowledge of his beautiful names and beautiful attributes. And you, as we mentioned today, we mentioned about 109. Today, our, our lecture, our previous lecture, and the lecture today, we mentioned about 109 of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names from the authentic uh, hadith and from the noble Qur'an. So we would ask that the students refer back to them and take note of these so that we can go into further detail and study them and understand some of their meanings. And these names which we mentioned today, you can also refer back to the book called An-Nuniyah, An-Nuniyah, which was authored by the great scholar Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawziyah. Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawziyah in his book An-Nuniyah. And he confirmed and affirmed all of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we mentioned today. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of you. Jazakallah khair for joining us. Subhanaka alhamdulillah wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruq wa tubirayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.